Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video is going to be straightforward, super easy tutorial on how to install Qubit Torrent using Docker Compose. Now it should be pretty obvious that a prerequisite to this is you have to have Docker and Docker Compose installed on the server or your computer or wherever you're going to be doing this deployment from. I'll have a link in the description so you can follow the official documentation on how to install Docker and Docker Compose. Pretty straightforward, but once you've got that, you're about to follow along because I'll walk through everything else. So this is Qubit Torrent. We're not actually going to use the download from this web page, but I'm just here just uh, for something to talk to. So the reason that you might want to host your own Gitbit Torrent rather than hosting it on, you know, just downloading the application on an actual machine is that you'll be able to access your Qubit Torrent from anywhere and then providing wherever you're saving your downloads to, they should they could also be accessible from wherever as well. So it's just being able to host Qubit Torrent on a dedicated server, and then you can connect to that from any device and download and whatever, right? And I just wanna add a little bit of a disclaimer here that just because we're setting up Qubit Torrent, it doesn't necessarily mean that we are now, I'm, I'm kind of showing you how you can go and pirate movies and do that. That's not the case. If you hear Torrent and you think piracy, you've been misinformed. A lot of media is shared via torrents, uh, especially like Linux distributions, uh, open source open source content, and all of that stuff. It's all shared via a P2P method, which is torrents, and it's just an effective way of sharing content. So, torrents does not always mean pirated and illegally downloaded content and whatnot. Okay, so just wanted to put that disclaimer there. Anyway, let's go to where we're going to grab all our necessary information we need for deploying Qubit Torrent with Docker Compose. On Docker Hub, Linux server always make great um, containers for deploying open source content and Qubit Torrent is here. And you can see and the good thing to always check is just making sure that, um, you know, it's been updated recently. Just making sure that the container you're wanting to use is maintained often. So we can just scroll down here. And the great thing about these ones is they always supply you with a Docker Compose file, okay? So just having a quick look at this Docker Compose file, we can essentially just copy this, put it in our server and run it, but I'll just break it down for you just so you can understand how to use this and what to configure and what to change and whatnot. So you can see here that it's just gonna create a service which is Qubit Torrent. We're gonna use the image which is from here and it's gonna name the container Qubit Torrent and that's fine, that works for me. And there's a couple environment variables here. So if you're curious on what environment variables you can use with this container, you just scroll down a little bit. And I just explained here, okay? So the PUID and the PGID are for user IDs and group IDs. And you can see below for a more detailed explanation on those. But a lot of this you can just leave as default. And also uh, specifying your time zone, uh, that's something you'll want to do as well. So let's actually just head to my server and we'll actually get this configured and work properly. So this is my server where I'm going to be installing Qubit Torrent. And what I normally do is I have a folder called Docker and inside of there I have folders which contain, you know, any configuration, the Docker Compose files and whatever for the containers that I deploy, right? So it's just a nice way to organize them. And then what I'll do is I'll, um, you can see I've already made a folder here called Qubit Torrent. So we can jump into there. And now all we need to do is grab that Docker Compose content from the Docker Hub page and paste it in here. Let's copy this, jump back to our server. And now we need to make a docker compose.yaml file. This is just, that's where we put our instructions for how we want our container to be built. And then we can use docker compose command to deploy it. So you just follow along and I'll walk you through it all. So let's make that docker compose file. So docker hyphen compose.yaml, enter, paste that in. And let's just have a quick look at this again. So we've got the service, we've got qubit torrent, we're using that image. It's gonna be called qubit torrent. We're go just for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave a lot of this all default. Just make sure that if you are going to use port 8080, you don't already have another container using this or another service already using that port. Now, with volumes, the, the paths, there's some thought that should probably go into this. Not so much the config. So what this means is that where is the configuration file going to live on your server that's mapped to the container? So 
everything to the left of the column here so this here on the left side this is the path on my server right and this is what where it's going to live on the container you don't need you don't change the stuff here on the right hand side okay just leave that how it is the only thing we're changing is from the left hand side okay so when it comes to configuration i don't mind if that just lives in the docker compose qubit torrent folder that i made so that can just live in this current directory that i'm at now with downloads, it's a little bit different. With downloads, what I'm thinking is, I, I don't want to have to like connect into the server or maybe uh, FTP to the server to download the ISOs that I download. Uh, I need, I want to download this to a place that all of my devices can easily access. So I actually have a NFS share connected to the server and I'm probably going to configure the downloads to go to that NFS share. So then, you know, if I'm on my, if I'm on my MacBook or whatever, I can see those downloads straight away as they come through. So I'm going to configure that NFS share uh, directory here. All right, so that's the directory I'm going to use. So it's on mount NFS share qubit torrent downloads. So that's where it's going to live on my server. And that means I can access it um, from any device that's connected to that NFS share as well. So that works well for me. And then these are the ports here. So it's going to use port 8080, and that's actually going to be the port that we use to actually connect to it. And then it's got a couple of other ports here, which is 6881 and uh, on TCP and then also on UDP. We're going to leave those and that's essentially it. What we should be able to do now is actually deploy this and we should be able to connect to Qubit Torrent and away we go. So let's save this file and close it. And we can deploy this with using a simple command of docker compose up hyphen D and hit enter. And the reason that worked is because we're in the directory where the docker compose.yaml file is, so we don't need to specify it, it knows to look in the local directory. And now it's downloading that image. And the reason we use the hyphen D is that it runs it in detached mode, so it will run the container, and then it will continue running in the background. If you don't use the hyphen D, it will run in the foreground, and then what happens is as soon as you close out of the, the commands that are running, it will stop the container. So you want to run it in detached, so it always runs in the background. And now you can see that our container is all started and it's also created a network for it as well now if i do an ls we can also see that that config folder was made in the local directory as well because that's where i told it to be made and now if i do an ls on the mount uh, nfs share qubit torrent downloads it's nothing in there at the moment which is fine but now if i do a download uh, it should pop in there so now let's jump to the ip address of the server um, on port 8080 and we should see qubit torrent so at the top uh we're on electron cloud which is fine but we're just going to check 8080 there and now i don't want to search google for it so http <laughs> there we go and there you go we can see we've now hit the web ui login so the default credentials for qubit torrent is just admin for the username and then the password is admin admin right and then hit login and there we go. <laughs> this is your Qubit Torrent that can be accessed from any device um, on your network, or you could use something like Cloudflare and create a Cloudflare tunnel and expose the service to the internet, but it's protected via your Cloudflare uh, single sign-on authentication, and you can access this from anywhere. So let's download something, and let's just confirm uh, where that downloads goes. So if we go grab something like, um, I don't know, Linux Mint, right? Zoom in, and if we hit download, uh, let's say cinnamon's always good. I've always enjoyed uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon. So let's hit download. And we can see here there's a torrent download, right? The 64 bit. So I should be able to right click this actually and go copy link and then go back to Qubit Torrent and click the add and paste that in. Just need to zoom out a little bit and hit download. And there we go. It's found the, the file and now it's starting to download our Linux Mint ISO or ISO, however you want to pronounce it. And now if I jump to that NFS share again, we should actually see a file in there downloading now. So if I do an LS again, now you can see it's downloading. And so this is the reason, so I'm on my MacBook now, and the reason I want it on an NFS share is that I can easily access the file that's been downloaded rather than having to connect to the server, download it onto my local host or whatever. It's just a bit of a pain if you do it that way. And NFS share is the way to go. So I'm gonna click here, and then I can click Qubit Torrent, downloads and there's my iso file that's downloading right now i can access this straight away and use it however i need 
So that's installing Qubit Torrent using Docker Compose on your server or however you want to install it. Uh, if you've got any questions, two ways you can uh, get in contact with me, either in the comments of this video, or you can join my Discord. A link to the Discord channel will be in the description of this video, so make sure to check it out. And if you are keen for one-on-one uh, -on -one support, if you need just a bit of extra help, my YouTube channel membership. So if you sign up as a member on my YouTube channel, you will get that one-on-one -on -one support with me via my Discord channel. So if you're interested, make sure to check that out as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.